Now, I actually love this question, and I'm going to give you a second to uh, pause and read it if you need to. Now, this actually perfectly falls in line with something that Christians love to do, especially New Testament theologians, where you can see how when they were developing the theology and doctrines and stories of the New Testament, they reached back to the Old Testament for inspiration. In this specific example, what Christians do is reach back to Genesis chapter 27, where Esau's blessing was actually stolen by his brother Jacob. So for those who aren't familiar with this story, uh, Isaac was getting old and he had two sons, Jacob and Esau. And Esau, being the oldest son, was supposed to receive a blessing from his father before he died, giving him power and authority over the clan, essentially. But what happens instead is that Jacob, who was inspired by his mother's direction, dressed up in an outfit to confuse his half-blind father into thinking that he was Esau, being covered in the hair of an animal like Esau, who was hairy, whereas Jacob was smooth-skinned and easy to recognize. So in this story, you have a half-blind uh, Isaac, who is about to die and can't tell the difference between his two sons, and he's easily tricked by Jacob into thinking that Jacob is Esau, and therefore Isaac gives his wonderful, powerful blessing to Jacob instead of Esau. So what Christians will do is point to this story as their only source of inspiration for this wild idea that when God looks at us, he only sees Jesus or the blood of Jesus and sees us as if we are Jesus and therefore blesses us as if we are the eldest son, even though we've tricked him and we're not. That's where we get this statement from Christians of, when God looks at you, all he sees is Jesus because you're covered by the blood of the Lamb. But there's just two points I really want to make here. First of all, there's no Christian theology in the New Testament that actually points to Genesis 27 and makes this abundantly clear that God sees us the same way that Isaac saw Jacob in that moment. That's just something we've completely overlaid onto the text and created this additional doctrine. Second of all, it's funny because in this idea that they steal from the Old Testament to create this doctrine, Isaac is old and can't barely see and can't recognize the difference between one son and the other. So in order for this sort of uh, foreshadowing to look anything similar to like us and God, we would have to assume that God is old and blind and can't tell the difference between us and Jesus. Why Christians still can't recognize this as simple blood magic, I just may never know.